Hi you guys, this is Lewis here. Uh, my name is uh, Lewis Rowlands. I am a certified nutritional balancing practitioner. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about adrenal burnout or adrenal fatigue. Um, it has a few other different names, adrenal insufficiency. Um, I'll just uh, talk about the differences because there is some slight differences, although very similar in many ways. So adrenal burnout is a um, kind of a heavy um, kind of depletion of the adrenal blood glands. Um, it does kind of say it in the name, adrenal burnout, which means the adrenal glands have literally burnt out of uh, most of the minerals it uses to sustain itself and it is in a position where it's extremely stressed and uh, people find it very difficult to live a normal everyday life. Now then you got things like adrenal fatigue and adrenal insufficiency which is very similar to adrenal burnout in the fact that the adrenal glands are weakened and usually there's not enough minerals to sustain the um, adrenal glands but it's much less of a derangement. We generally find people in adrenal burnout or also known adrenal exhaustion um, often take longer to fully heal the adrenal glands than those who are in adrenal insufficiency or adrenal fatigue. Now there's general fatigue and we usually say that people who have got a general fatigue um, can kind of get over it after a few days sleep or even a day's sleep or a vacation whereas things like adrenal insufficiency and especially adrenal burnout um, there's a much bigger uh, issue involved and it takes much longer in general to heal the adrenal glands now for me personally healing adrenal burnout was the one of the biggest things that I had to overcome and at the same time it was a huge learning curve um, about my condition, about me as a person, um, about who I was, what I did. So as much as it was a horrible thing to be diagnosed with, um, looking back now six years on um, it was a blessing in disguise now sometimes I will say to people you know adrenal burnout can be a blessing in disguise but uh, you know when you sat there as I was six years ago listening to this and thinking that it's probably gonna take one two three four years to fully overcome um, it can be a little bit depressing but I can kind of almost guarantee you now that if you do follow um, a nutritional balancing program, uh, what I teach and Luke teaches, or something very similar, at the end of it, you'll come out a, a completely changed person. You'll you'll understand yourself more. Um, you know, you see a lot of people in who've got adrenal problems who go travelling, for example. You want want to find themselves, and they're looking externally. Um, but adrenal burnout does that um, much better, in my opinion. Anyone with adrenal burnout are forced to slow down and to get in touch with themselves, their own body, their own emotions, and their true personality um, starts to come out and their true self-worth and self-confidence. Um, a lot of people become more spiritually inclined which is another amazing uh, blessing of burnout. Um, and obviously the health benefits um, and of th that you get from overcoming burnout is obviously fantastic. So I'll talk a little bit about my experience with burnout um, and basically what you need to do and what it takes more specifically to overcome it. Now, for anyone wanting to start a, a healing program with me, um, who have got adrenal fatigue or adrenal burnout, um, 
then please get in touch. It is not really something that you can tackle by yourself. Um, I Apologies for that. I got a phone call mid through the uh, the video there, um, but I'll just uh, carry on from where I left off. I was talking about how it is difficult to heal burnout um, by yourself, and one of the reasons for this is it is quite a complex um, problem. Usually, we find that people who are in adrenal burnout. Um, it's not really the only issue. There's a lot of other issues like uh, toxic metal imbalances, uh, lifestyle problems, um, stresses at work, and all this really has to be dealt with by um, someone who's knowledgeable in the in the area. Uh, another problem that we find is that there is a lot of people out there um, that give advice on adrenal burnout and adrenal fatigue and usually it doesn't seem to work people come to us and they're feeling worse and um, they're not actually getting better and the fact that we use hair mineral analysis to see exactly the derangement of burnout um, we can see the progress people are making and it really helps especially when people go through what we call healing reactions or um, Herxheimer's reactions and these are basically um, reactions of healing where toxic metals are released from storage sites they come into the blood uh, they might flare up an old condition an old infection and a lot of people think that they're actually getting worse when in, in reality they get they're improving now if you're following a program that is not tracked for example using the hair analysis or um, you know you, you're doing maybe a raw food diet which is not very good at healing people or something similar and you start getting reactions there's a chance that these reactions are not necessarily good reactions um, they might actually be a worsening so that's something that's really important to understand so <clears throat> when I first came across adrenal burnout uh, I wasn't really aware of it and in reality, and this is a strange thing to, for some people, I actually did have some energy to go about my daily life. Um, I was actually doing a lot of exercise, you know, three, four times a week. Um, I remember I, at one point I was running seven miles every two or three days. Um, I did a lot of parkour and free running, which I really enjoyed. And I was out with my friends, 10 hours a day sometimes just jumping around and doing gymnastics and things um, but I always remember that that I had a lot of difficulty getting up in the morning and this actually went all the way back to when I was very young and I was quite like well well known in our family for not wanting to wake up in the morning so looking back at it now there was some alarm bells ringing really um, but again, I just wasn't aware of it. So I came across the healing program and um, did the test and it came up that I was in the adrenal exhaustion stage of stress. Now, the first thing was that I was quite relieved that I had actually um, got someone to put a, um, a name to my what I was experiencing. Um, although, as I say, I didn't feel like I was necessarily burnt out. I did have a lot of other issues that are related to adrenal burnout, um, like anxiety, depression, uh, skin problems, uh, candida, parasites, um, like headaches, um, you know, low self-esteem, low stamina, um, low sex drive, um, a lot of fears. So there's actually a lot of different things related to adrenal burnout that I had so I was very relieved because a lot of doctors was telling me that I needed to go and see a psychologist and um, I had I did have a lot of CBT therapy cog cognitive behavioral therapy in the in the past and that didn't work so I was getting a little bit desperate 
to find an answer. So <clears throat> I found, you know, the issue and it was adrenal exhaustion. And this is where things took a bit of an unexpected turn, really, because I thought that it would take, you know, a few months, maybe a few weeks to heal, uh, when in actual fact my level of burnout, personally, was quite extreme. Um, but I had energy, which was weird. Anyway, I started the programme and I... It wasn't long before I started to feel extremely tired. Um, I had to lie down in the afternoons. I couldn't stand up very well. I um, I couldn't wake up in the morning. Um, it, I had the feeling where my my skin under my eyes, my eyes felt like they were drooping really bad. Um, I couldn't like small noises would shock me um, and basically I went from being I could do things although I was feeling very bad to like really extremely tired all of a sudden and this is when I was starting the program now this is not what everyone goes through um, I was at, at the extreme end of the scale um, and if I didn't read about the program and I didn't have a practitioner, there's a chance that I would have quit because I was like, well, this is definitely not working for me. You know, I'm feeling much worse. However, um, I did have some improvements. My brain fog improved. So that gave me some, um, some hope, some, you know, some, some, a bit of an intuition to think well let's let's look a bit more into this let's kind of read about things and you know I started to understand what was actually going on now for me before I started the program I was I later found out that I was in something called sympathetic dominance and this is when the body is in a chronic fight or flight state it's, it cannot switch off the fight or flight mode and this was actually giving me some energy to go about my daily routines, that do my exercises, do my free running, do my gymnastics, whatever. And um, and what what I had done by starting the program was I managed to switch off um, this fight or flight response. And by switching off the response, my body went from sympathetic to parasympathetic, and it was ready to heal now in the beginning um, it is quite difficult for people to come to terms with the fact that this might not be a quick fix and as a teenager I was always wanting to go out always wanting to see friends you know I was drinking alcohol you know taking recreational drugs um, you know, going to festivals, um, I was that kind of guy and being in adrenal burnout, I slowly started to realise how I needed to change as a person, you know, how my personality was maybe trying to fit in too much um, and I had to learn to slow down. You know, I got brought up that laying around was lazy, for example, and I was so involved with the things that I do um, rather than being. And I had to learn basically to slow down a lot. But the more that I slowed down, the more that I was feeling tired. And uh, this was a few months in. Although I was feeling a lot better in other areas, like depression and anxiety and my brain fog lifted. Um, I was really tired. And I finished university and my parents basically would wanted me or I felt like I uh, needed to get a job, you know. Uh, I'd got a degree and that was the thing to do in society. And for me, I knew intuitively that 
it was going to be very difficult for me to get a job and um, involve myself uh, into the real world. So I decided to take a flight to um, Thailand and over the next couple of years I rested and I worked for a health practitioner in Thailand and managed to slowly but surely overcome adrenal burnout. Now, as I was saying earlier, um, I was very lucky in the fact that I did find a health programme that managed to heal my adrenal burnout. And there's a few different aspects to nutritional balancing that work uh, together to help a person overcome burnout. And a lot of the people that are in burnout and adrenal insufficiency um, are very high strung people, very stressful. Um, they, as I was saying, they tend to um, look at themselves with what they do uh, rather than how they be as a person. Um, they generally have a poor diet. Um, some people in burnout are actually quite spiritually orientated and they, didn't, they don't necessarily know that they're spiritually orientated. They try and fit in with the world around them uh, when in actual fact something that would be more beneficial for them would be to um, get in touch with themselves maybe through some meditation and to learn how to be in the world rather than a spectator to the world um, and focused on the things that they do. So one main aspect of healing the adrenal glands is the diet and we have a couple of different diets on uh, the nutritional balancing program depending on a person's oxidation rate which we can decipher from the hair analysis test. Um, but the major things in the diet is to make a person more parasympathetic and more young. Um, a lot of people who have got adrenal burnout tend to be very yin um, and obviously yin and yang is just a way of explaining balance. So they're very out of balance in a, in a yin sense and the diet um, mainly of cooked vegetables and some meats um, tend to bring the body downwards in a young fashion and switches people out of the parasympathetic state. It's also very good for balancing people's sugar. Uh, a lot of people in adrenal burnout, their sugar uh, is going up and down, up and down, up and down and obviously all that does all day is it's just beating the adrenal glands more and more and more. So the diet is very important to um, balance the blood sugar and um, enable a person to re-nourish the adrenal glands and to, to heal. Now, another aspect of the program is a lifestyle. It's not just about supplements and, and diet, it's about changing the lifestyle as a person. Now, one key, the main key possibly to adrenal burnout is rest. Now, there's a bit of a myth surrounding exercise that you know, to heal the adrenal glands, you need to do some exercise. But when you, we think about it in a logic, logical fashion, if the adrenal glands are weakened or they're not functioning properly, then what's the best way to, to heal them? And the best way is to rest the adrenal glands, to, to give them some space to sleep, basically and to then give it what it needs um, in order to nourish um, and get itself to a point where it's functioning normally and naturally. So we give people a lot of tips on lifestyle and we talk about people's lifestyle and uh, talk about the importance of sleep and the circadian rhythm um, and you know even the importance of how to eat the foods you know, chewing the food, um, slowing down the, the thinking um, and slowing down their work and understanding 
the need to balance out their life in a, in a very wholesome way. So that's a very important aspect of, of healing the adrenal glands. Um, I remember personally that, you know, I would rest and I remember getting to a stage where I would wake up in the morning and I would have 10 minutes of energy, literally 10 minutes because I'd slept and rested my adrenal glands for nine, 10 hours and I had 10 minutes of energy. And then the next week I'll wake up and I had 15, 20 and then an hour, you know, and these, the, I remember these, these times in the morning when I would have this energy, it was like, man, I feel normal. You know, this is the first time I felt normal in 10 years. And I would, you know, I would, and people could sense it as well. You know, I was, used to be sitting in the kitchen with people and I would have my, I would feel normal for an hour and people could sense it. You know, people could sense the connection instantly. It's, it's very powerful. And then I would get tired again and, and some brain fog would come back for the rest of the day. And this went on for a few weeks and months and years um, where I was resting and detoxing and resting and changing the way I thought about things and changing the way I approached life and um, changing different aspects of myself and you know here I am um, with a partner which I never thought I would get uh, with energy you know I'm walking around this beautiful field um, being able to speak to you guys about my experience and no longer do I feel detached from the space I actually feel part of it and I used to feel very detached from everything you know my friends family my environment you know being in a relationship was not even an option for me it was something that was just far beyond my reach I couldn't possibly you know deal with one another aspect of of healing is the supplementation that we recommend um, by looking at the hair analysis we can see exactly what minerals people are needing to help nourish the adrenal glands to help bring a person out from the, that sympathetic state to release some of the toxic metals that are causing people um, a lot of problems um, another aspect is a special type of mental exercise uh, where we where it is used in adrenal burnout people to you know get themselves out of their heads get more in touch with the body get more in touch with the the person again to switch the sympathetic nervous system off to explore the some ways of thinking some ways of being um, to maybe get some old personal traumas out of the system which could be making a person feel like that they should overwork or overdo things. Um, other aspects of uh, a detox, so people that have got adrenal burnout tend to be very uh, high in different toxic metals and different toxic chemicals. So not only do we have to help the mind to rest, not only do we have to re-nourish the body, to re-nourish the adrenals and the, the liver and the kidneys, you know, but we also need to remove these heavy metals as well. Now you can't really do one thing without the other, and that's kind of the power of the healing program, is that you need to tackle things at all angles as a whole system, rather than just thinking you can, you know, focus on the diet or have some supplements or even medication. I think that you can really heal adrenal burnout um, properly. So in nutritional balancing we use sauna therapy, infrared sauna therapy which is a very um, multifaceted approach to healing. Not only does being in an infrared sauna relax a person, bring the person into a parasympathetic state, but it also helps with the removal of toxic metals and toxic chemicals through the sweat. It, it also helps with the circulation, which is very important. You know, it's, 
we, we do tell people to stop exercising and just go on a nice walk. Um, and the, the sauna helps promote um, sweating and, and, and good circulation, um, which is very similar to exercising, but much more healthful way. Another detoxification method we use is uh, coffee enemas. Um, and the coffee enema is used to stimulate the bile duct in the liver. It's used to, this is, the liver is obviously a big storage place of toxins and toxic metals. So it's important to, um, you know, detoxify the liver. So a coffee enema is great at doing that. Again, it's fantastic at bringing a person into a parasympathetic state. Um, it's great at cleaning out the digestive tract in the colon, which is usually full up of toxins and, and it helps the body to, you know, process foods and, ex, um, and get foods and, and, and matter out of the system. So the, the healing program that we recommend and, and, what, and what's needed really to overcome adrenal fatigue or adrenal burnout is, um, is quite in depth. You know, it's, it's been used over or been refined, should I say, over 45 years. So it's obviously got a lot of back history, a lot of stories. But the main kind of message that I wanted to bring across in this particular video is that it can be healed, you know. I was, I, I've spoke to quite a few people in my healing journey and I understand them and what, they've, what they're going through. And from what I can see is that I was in quite an extreme stage of stress. You know, very, very, um, very, very bad. I had, I had the vast majority of symptoms most people talk about in, a, in adrenal burnout. And I seemed to be in a place that, um, was not nice at all and I was totally, totally unaware of who I was as a person uh, because of the extreme, um, you know, burnout that I was suffering from. That was one of the reasons why I just had to get away from the country and um, have time to heal. Um, so, so that's basically it really. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying, adrenal burnout is a very targeted um, way of healing and if a person can dedicate themselves to healing and, and enjoy the process, then it can be uh, very, very um, amazing and um, really it's a bit of a blessing in disguise, especially for me. Um, I'm definitely a changed person as a result and I get a lot of joy um, and satisfaction being able to help other people. So if you have any questions, if you want to start the program with me or Luke, um, our emails are in the uh, comments section below. It's lewis at deephealingspace.com or luke at luke at deephealingspace.com. And if you have any questions, then leave it in the comments section and I'll get round to answering them on a different video. But um, I'll leave this one there and I wish you all well on your healing journey. Thank you very much and I'll speak to you soon.